say good morning nice to see you good morning Sarisa hello hello good morning Abraham hi good morning Penny hello hello good morning Felix and Johan too hello good morning Amelia hi Everett are you watching too hello 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 to Molly and I wonder if Theo and Elliot are there too it's very possible they're all in the same place Good morning to Tenzin Danor. Good morning, good morning. I wonder if your big brother and sister are there with you, do you think? Good morning, Milo. Hi, hi, Milo. Good morning, Nelson. Nelson, I think Nelson might even be at Aquila School today or Peter Holbert School. <clears throat> good morning to Aiden, who's got a big full house of brothers and sisters too. And so does Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. And I think Evelyn is playing with Gibson today. And Mason, hello, hello. I'm not sure what you're up to. Um, hello to Henrik, and I know Henrik's brother and sister are home now from daycare, so it's probably busy at his house too. Hello to everyone there. Um, hello to Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Lewis has a big sister and a big brother, and I bet they're watching as well. Hello to Aubriana, and Aubriana is right in the middle in her family. She has a big sister and a little sister that she lives with. So maybe they're watching too, who knows? And Mouad, did you know that every kid in Mouad's family has been in Mrs. Haynes' kindergarten? That's pretty special. So far there have been four, very cool. And hello to Noelle, and Noelle doesn't have any brothers and sisters in her house, but she has lots of cousins and lots of friends in the neighborhood as well. And hello to Zainab all the way across the world. Zainab has a big sister who's in high school. And Zainab also has a brother who's in fifth grade at Aquila School. But they're still on the other side of the world in Pakistan. So hello to Pakistan. Let's see who else. Simon. Simon is the big brother in his family. And Simon has a little sister. And she wants to do all the things that he can do. That's kind of how little sisters can be sometimes. And Miguel, Miguelito. Miguelito is the youngest brother in his family. And he has a big sister named Maria. And Alondra has all kinds of brothers and sisters in her family. In fact, did you know that Jordan in Miss Swedberg's class is her nephew? Think on that for a second. Very interesting. But she's got lots of people in her family that love you. And I know that you have lots of people in your family that love you as well. Plus me, Mrs. Haynes always loves you. For sure, for sure. All right, shall we see what's in the truck today? Mm, can you see from over there? I wonder if you're wondering what is in the truck. What could it be today? Give you a second to do some wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Is it what you thought? Did you think there was going to be a dinosaur in my truck today? Hmm. Oh, you do? Simon thought he, he... Okay, right, right. Let's see. All right, well, this is a dinosaur, in fact. Um, what kind of dinosaur is it? Anybody know? Turn it this way so that you can see. Yes. It's a T-Rex. Yes. Or not T-Rex. Triceratops. Pardon me. Not a T-Rex. Silly me. T-Rex have those cute little arms. No. That, well, dangerous arms. Mostly a dangerous tail and a dangerous mouth. But this guy, Triceratops. And since we were talking about 3D shapes today on a Seesaw, I'm wondering if you can take a look at these horns here and figure out what 3D shape you would call them. And on the count of three, we'll say it. So let's look at the horns here, see if we can figure out what 3D shape they would be. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, a cone. Exactly, a cone. These horns are shaped like a cone. Now, this is not any regular Triceratops. This Triceratops has little slots on the top. And it's kind of funny because this Triceratops, in fact, was a gift to Mr. Hain from his boss, Stephanie, who knows that Mr. Hain, when he was a little boy, loved, loved, loved dinosaurs so much. And also loved, 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 loved tacos. And so this Triceratops, in fact, has little spots right here where when you make a taco at home, 
you can put the taco right in here. So let's say you put your cheese and your meat and your beans and your salsa and your whatever on here, and then you can set your, your taco right here in this triceratops. And guess what we're having for dinner at the Haynes house tonight? One, two, three. You got it, we're having tacos. So that will be really fun. So I thought our taco dinosaur might like to come out today. I saw him in the kitchen and I thought, oh, the boys and girls have to see him for sure. So I'm gonna set him over here so he is ready for Taco Tuesday in a little bit. And before we go today, I have a song for you. And I thought this song would be a perfect song for today because I wore a yellow necklace today because everyone in the whole world knows that yellow is my favorite color. And I wore it today because I was hoping there would be something yellow out there in the sky today. Can you think of what I'm thinking? Yeah, it's the sun. And I woke up and guess what? There isn't any yellow out there. Well, it's there still, it's always there, but it's covered with something. So in your weather journal, you'll have to look and see. Um, maybe your weather journal is gonna change throughout the day. Um, it's cloudy right away, but it's possible that it's going to change into something later. And this is what I'm hoping it's gonna change into. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. You try it, ready? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on pretty, please shine down on, please shine down on. my family about it 75 times. So next door to our house there is a man and his name is Dr. Jack and Dr. Jack has grown up kids and he lives in his house by himself but in his backyard he has something that I love very much and it is a great big rectangular prism but it's hollow and it has a water inside of it. Think about what that might be. A great big rectangular prism in the ground and it's hollow and it has water inside of it, and it's blue. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, it's a pool. And I got very excited because when I'm out on my porch, I can look over the fence and I can see the beautiful blue water. And even though it's just not a lake or something like that, it makes me happy. It makes me happy to, to see that. And Dr. Jack uses it almost every night. He goes out in the evening and he turns on the light in the beautiful blue water and he swims and he swims and he swims, laps back and forth. And sometimes the air will be colder than the inside water of the pool because I believe it's heated. And so the steam will rise off of the beautiful blue water and it just is calming and beautiful. And if the lights are on in the pool, then it's extra pretty. So I was very excited and I was hoping to show it to you this morning, but I think because it rained, he pulled the cover over it. So cross our fingers, sometime in the future, we'll go on a little field trip to Mrs. Haynes' backyard and we will go take a look at that pool. I also can't wait to show you the rest of the seeds in the dining room. So pretty, pretty cool. So for now, I have to get to a meeting on my computer in the dining room. Kind of silly, but I'm looking forward to it. So peace out for you today. Lots of hugs, lots of smiles, and um, be kind today. I know it's tricky to be in your house. It's tricky to like think that your lunchroom is the kitchen and your, um, your recess is the living room or maybe your recess is just the front porch. But this is what we have to do right now to keep safe. So until tomorrow.